Hi everyone, Happy New Year. Hey, I just wanted to let you know my channel is going to be taking a bit of a different turn. Um, I have decided to start incorporating uh, seafood and eggs uh, back into my diet. Um, it will still be primarily a, a plant-based diet, but I've just decided to um, add those things back into it. Uh, no particular reason as far as my uh, vegan diet was great. I felt wonderful for seven years, but I've, um, I've just been really craving seafood and, and eggs, so I decided just to uh, go back to eating that in moderation. So my recipes will be changing just a bit. Here's the first one. This morning for breakfast, well actually it's lunch time, almost. Late breakfast, early lunch. I'm just gonna whip up a, a veggie omelet. So what I have in here is um, a slice of onion, white onion. No, actually it was a yellow onion. Uh, just diced up small. And um, uh, just a, a sliver of orange pepper, diced up. Um, a handful of kale and about uh, four or five mushrooms. I'm going to let this simmer for a little bit and then I'll add my egg mixture. Okay, it's been a few minutes and now that we have everything uh, nice and tender, I scrambled up a couple eggs. Didn't add anything else to it. It's just simply the, the eggs. I just took a fork and whisked those together. Just going to pour that right on top of your veggies. I'm just going to stir it around just enough to make sure we get egg all over the bottom there. And I'm going to put my lid on for just a few minutes and I'll show you the finished product. When it gets to this point where it's all pretty much solid on the top, if you want to add a little slice of cheese, this is a vegan cheese, chow. Um, and I don't really eat that very often, but something about an omelet, it just screams for a little cheese. And then you're just gonna very carefully flip that over. And I would suggest a non-stick pan um, obviously my cast iron is not quite seasoned enough for it to not stick, but it's still going to taste great. And I'll just give that a couple more minutes to melt the cheese. And there we have it, a delicious, very easy to make uh, veggie omelet. And I just had a little toast with that. Um, with this uh, sugar-free polliner, sugar-free strawberry preserves, it's really good. If you see that in your store, you might want to grab some. Have a great day.